Brussels wants us to pay £50 every time we visit Europe after Brexit. We could be forced to pay £50 every time we want to visit Europe after Brexit. Yes really. Under draft plans drawn up by the European Commission, ek, once Britain is no longer an EU member, we may be put on either the visa required or the visa free list. This means if Britain is ruled to be a nation where people need visas, travelers to Europe could have to pay more than £50 for the right paperwork. Last month, Brussels revealed separate plans to charge £7 administration fees for travelers into the EU, which is likely to affect Britain when we leave the EU for good. The visa lists have been drawn up by Martin Selmer, the head of the Cabinet of EU Commission. More. A blind 18-year-old cat is retiring from her work as a receptionist and searching for a home at the same time, the EU could also decide to make UK nationals exempt from visa requirement for stays of no more than 90 days in any 180-day period. The final plans are likely to be revealed after the planned UK-EU trade deal. At the moment, countries like Ukraine have deals with the EU to waive visa fees if they come to more than £50. If no deal is achieved with Britain, we are likely to end up as a visa-required nation. There's a few options for Britain after we officially leave the EU on January 1, 2021. We've still got time before this all changes though, at least until January 1, 2021, which is the first day after the Brexit transition, unless the talks collapse in March. British negotiators are attempting to seek visa-free travel as part of a UK-EU post-Brexit trade deal. A former Brexit minister criticised the idea of Britain's ever needing a visa in the first place. David Jones told Politico, which revealed the plans, many third countries enjoy visa-free access to the EU and given the UK's historical links, one would not expect the EU to adopt such an apparently perverse position. If you have a story for our news team, Email us at webnews at metro.co.uk. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter.